The world's simplest electric motor from South Iron High School. You'll need a power supply, some tape, some paper clips, a magnet, a pliers, a marker, and some wire. Okay, we need about four feet of wire. What we're going to do is make a very tight coil around this marker and leave about an inch and a half on both sides so that the electricity will flow through it once we trim the insulation off. It's going to take a while. Okay, now we're gonna. Now that we have this coil, we're gonna pull it off. <laughs> then we're gonna take the longest one and loop it through to make it mechanically stable. Do that a couple times. Make sure it's all nice. Then it's gonna come out the other side from where this one is. Go ahead and do this one too, so they don't move around. And time for the wire stripper. And here's a close-up of that armature. Yes. All right, go ahead and take that coil and hold it out to the side and then scrape the wire. Okay, you need to scrape it away to nice, shiny copper wire. And you'll notice that he's holding the armature straight up and down while he scrapes. And then let's do the other side. Holding the, the armature the same direction. So the shiny wire is up on the other side. Now we got a wire that's shiny on one side and dull on the other, insulated on the other. And that's good. Okay. Now what we need to do is tuck that in really nice and tight and make that into a straight axle because that's got a spin right over the top. And you'll see that one side is nicely peeled away and the other side's good there. Okay, there it is. Ready to go. Hey, Sam. What you have to do is... Uh Make it to where it'll stand up, you know, basically take this little piece right here, bend it out, alright, make sure it's good and stable. Take the other piece, bend it upward like that, then you take your needle and those pliers, alright, kind of like make a loop out of this, so that way you have a place to put your uh, pieces of wire, alright, well, this is a bit difficult. Two of those paper clips, like Corey just bent, and we're going to tape them down on both sides of a block magnet here, and that's going to be the frame for our motor. Now, you'll notice that both paper clips extend out to each side because they can't touch each other, as they are not only the support for the armature, but they're also going to be the brushes, and they have to be at opposite polarity. Okay. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to set this down on the brackets, and you'll see that. If it's properly done, it'll spin on the brackets, and it'll spin itself over and over. Now, the cop when the copper wire is up, no, wire no electricity can flow, but when we set the copper wire down, that'll make the circuit. It'll turn this into an electromagnet, and with the magnet on the bottom, we'll get a nice little uh, motion. I'm going to go ahead and adjust that just a tiny bit more to get it nice and smoothly spinning. Let's try that again. Okay. And when it's done, it needs to be able to smoothly spin. A little tinkering with it. And there we go. Perfect. All right. I'm going to put these leads onto the paper clip. One negative and on positive. One's positive, one's negative. Then I'm going to spin the... Turn the power on. And give it a little flip. Mm. I don't think there's enough juice in it. <coughs> okay, we don't have anything yet. Let's see if we can get it going. Alright, we played with it a little bit, and I think we're ready to run it. Now I'm going to put the... Um, yeah, put me on it. I'm gonna spin it. Whoa. We're gonna need to reduce down the volts. It was running a little too fast and it jumped off its cradle. How much volts you got? Um, we're gonna reduce it down to 6 and it was at 22. Okay. And go ahead and try it with 6 volts. Oh, yeah. There it is. Oh, it's all nice. Running beautifully.